All right, guys, before we get into the video, let me know why you play most down in the comments below. All right, guys, today we're going to be talking about why I play Moe's a lot because I've dude I okay so I've been getting a lot of comments just over my time uh, playing the game posting about it and stuff like that but you know why don't you use Zane why don't you use Amara why do you only use Flack and Moe's and today we're gonna be talking about why I like to use Moe's so much and you know she's like one of the main characters I use for all the showcases and everything so anyways let's just go ahead let's just talk about it let's talk about why I like to play with Moe's and everything so the main reason is I like, why I like to play Moe's is that Moe's is a very simple straightforward character right she does three things really well gets a giant shield does a shit ton of splash damage and make sure that she doesn't have to reload that often, if ever, right? Depending on the weapon. <laughs> uh, yo, huge shout out to Lucky7. Uh, love the Lucky7 on Moe's, it's just so goddamn good. Anyway, so let's just go over the skill trees, right, and talk about them. So, I'll, we'll go from my... We'll go from my least fa my least used to my most used. So my bear mother tree is my lowest, my least used. I literally get big sexy surplus, and sometimes you can go for harmonious havoc, and that's just about it. That's literally all. That's all I ever go into here. Very rarely, I will go far into here. Very rarely. So then let's talk about the uh, shield of retribution tree right now. You, I use the Shield of Retribution tree for a few reasons. I will use it for either a rocket build or a U-Red style setup. Now, with that being said, basically every time I do spec into here, like past uh, Drowning in Brass, like past maxing Drowning in Brass, I'm going to be using some sort of rocket launcher in there at least, right? Now, I like to spec into Armored Infantry. I mean, you get Security Bear. Obviously, you max out Drowning in Brass when you can. And, and overall, I like Drowning in Brass is very good. I like to just get it whenever I can. It's just solid. It's a good kill skill. And then we also, uh, you know, Thin Red Lining is very good for you red setups and for, you know, just getting a bigger shield in general, especially if, we, if you are going to be using a Deathless. Then Experimental Munitions is also very good because it's uh, bonus incendiary damage. Obviously, Moe's is a character that is naturally going to be very good with incendiary. Uh, so, you know, more uh, bonuses towards fire is always going to be very, very good. Then, you know, you do have things like, I mean, a full can of Will Pass can be okay. Behind the, behind the Iron Curtain, I don't really use all that often, but obviously another big one is Desperate Measures, especially if you do have a Blood Letter with plus 3 into it and you spec fully into it, uh, you'll be getting 6 out of 3 and you'll be getting about a 100% gun damage bonus, which is obviously very, very solid, uh, especially if you are going to be rocking a Deathless, very useful, especially for things like Rocket Builds and Urad once again. Now... After that, the only other good perk I like to use is going to be Phallic's Doctrine. It's an infinite stack kill skill that gives you shield and gun damage, which is very nice, and it lasts for 30 seconds. Now, the reason why this uh, this skill tree is is third and my least you is one of my more least used, like especially like I never get the caps on here ever, never. Tenacious Defense. This entire shield retribution tree is focused around you having a giant shield and having it never break and then when the capstone is designed for when your shield does break it's just kind of dumb and counterintuitive you know what i'm saying especially if you're using a deathless you have one hp your shield breaks you're dead especially because you know you don't have health kit when you're using a deathless and just having it's just not practical it's just not practical so that, that, that's kind of the main reason why it's third here now let's go to the bottomless max tree now this is another one that we do spec into pretty consistently especially for when i'm doing showcases on any sort of smg assault rifles you know non jacobs weapons snipers hyperions Generally, anything that's not a Jacob's weapon or a uh, low mag weapon, I will spec into the bottomless mag tree here for. We, so we do get obviously stoke the embers and feed the flames. Well, not feed the flames. This is the that's, this is not outriders. Cloud of lead and stoke the embers. <laughs> uh, then you get redistribution for some regen on crits. Then you also get scrappy, which can be pretty uh, uh, decent for COV weapons. Scorching RPMs is really good for crit fire rate and iron bear damage. You get Russian offensive, which can be a little. A little figgity at sometimes, but if you're using a rocket, you, it'll be very solid for sure. Then, you know, the Iron Bank is a very simple. Max style gives you 35% extra max size. Specialist Bear uh, for uh, some extra Iron Bear damage, which is pretty solid. Uh, click Click can be very good, especially if you're using a medium size mag weapon. That can be It can be really useful. And then some for the road, depending on your weapon, is really good. I will say that by far my favorite weapon to use some for the road with is 100% the red line. The red line just, oh my god, it's so goddamn gross with this thing. It's just, you love to see it. And then you obviously have Forge, which is a nice blanket, nice uh, coating around the entire bottomless mag tree. Kind of like a beautiful tortilla and around a burrito. And then we obviously have our Demolition Woman Tree, which is your bread and butter for generally every single Moe's build out there. Uh, just giving you a lot of extra splash damage. Obviously, 
bef uh, for the for like almost a year felt like firing the skagged in was just absurdly broken with how much extra incendiary damage it would give you uh, i mean like i think fully fully maxed out i think it was like 426 percent just absurd then you obviously you have your means of destruction for some emo regen and grenade uh, regen you have tcp for extra uh, splash damage and a bigger radius although with a minesweeper that can be kind of uh, annoying <laughs> then you have stainless steel bear which is also very solid i mean you, you do have grizzled if you aren't going to use big psyche surplus and then you know have, you have auto bear to have your iron bear up and around for a little bit pull the holy pin which is very solid vampire for a method of regening health and then obviously you have the best capstone out of uh, all of Moses Seal Tree and Short Fuse, which I'm pretty sure all of us know. <laughs> Short Fuse, bro. It's so good. So useful. Now, uh, one thing that I do want to mention is that Moses is the only character that doesn't have a way to self-revive. Uh, you know, Zayna has old you, Amara has guardian angel, Flack has his pet, Moe's doesn't have anything. So if you go down, unless you have auto bear up at the moment, you're going to have to get the kill yourself, which is the only just thing I find a little bit lackluster about Moe's skill trees. But other than that, dude, I mean, everybody knows how good the blue and the green tree work together. Synergy is just top tier with those two. Now let's go ahead and talk about some of my favorite weapons. Now Moe's is very good with just about every weapon. She can make any weapon very solid with just her... Her skill points alone and her trees. Short Fuse is just built like that. Obviously, I'm a huge fan of SMGs, Big Mag weapons, anything that does splash, Torgs. I mean, it, the list goes on. KOs ends, Blood Stars Beasts, Boom Sickles, every single rocket in the game, Light Show. I mean, you name it, Moe's is good with it, just about. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it, it, like, it, it's Moe's. Now, my favorite, now, obviously, Shields, it just depends on your build. Your build, your build. Moe's can make any shield, you know, just naturally better, just with her, sh her shield retribution tree. Obviously, with things like the Revolter, the Super Soldier, Old God, Transformer, One Shot, or any Amp Shield. Uh, I mean, honestly, I don't find myself using the Faulty Star too much, but it can be pretty useful. Uh, I mean, the pl the Plus Ultra is obviously going to be really good. The Red Suit's really good if you're using like a a bl a root with. Uh, that's radiation can be very solid the super soldier. I mean, I, I just mentioned the super soldier uh, Anything like that it will be pretty um, stop. I mean dude It's a sh any good shield will be really solid with most and then grenades Obviously the best grenade for most is gonna be your CMT hexes work. Well, so do uh, any sort of hunter seeker grenades uh, Preferably I might toast this one Obviously uh, gas calls can be good and don't forget yourself about the ringer. I'm just kidding. The ringer is terrible Don't do not use the ringer do not use that now, artifacts, obviously, I'm a huge fan of the Pearl, my most used artifact by far. Cup Burst Launch Pad is good with rocket builds. Vic Rushes are good. Any Snowdrift is solid. Deathlesses are really good. Decently Rolled Company Mans for Malawans, Dolls, Vladoffs, Hyperions will be really, really solid. And yeah, guys. Uh, oh, can't forget about the, my uh, my class mods that I like to use when I'm using Moe's. Obviously, my top two are going to be the Blastmaster and the Minesweeper. Blood Letter is a very solid one anytime you're going for a giant shield build or a deathless build or a U-Rad build. Blood Letter will be really good, obviously, because it transfers your uh, your health regen into shield regen. I like the Blast Master because I like extra splash damage and you get 100% of it whenever you... I believe it's about 52 to 57 seconds without reloading uh, for your Blast Master to be at full 100% uh, extra splash damage. And that's passive, you know what I'm saying? Like, you... You spawn into the map, it's the counter the counter the countdown is going down, which is very nice. Obviously the minesweeper's been good for so long, especially for mobbing. Although it can kill you a lot, so obviously be uh born of that. Now, another one that has grown on me since Fire and the Skagden has been uh fixed and Hemavorus has come out has been the green monster for the extra corrosive damage. Especially for things like the ogre, maybe a flipper, any high mag weapon, anytime, just any weapon you can just hold the trigger, coil, plasma coil, really good. Kibsworth can be really good. Dude, Kibsworth is really good these days. Uh, the crit's also another good weapon with it. Uh, overall, Green Monster has definitely, uh, has definitely climbed its way back into my uh, usage for sure. And then, other than that, I don't really use any other ones. I mean, the Raging Bear, whenever I'm making an Iron Brew build, but other than that, I don't use a Sapper that much any anymore, and I never was a fan. I mean, I probably could should use the flare a little bit more. This, w the one that Moe's got from uh, the fourth DLC, I need to use that a little bit more. But other than that, though, that's about uh, it for all my class mods. Guys, let me know 
uh, your favorite Moe's build and why you play Moe's down in the comments below. I want to know. Also, if you are new around here and you like daily content, you like Borderlands, you know, please consider subscribing. We do post daily content on the channel, and uh, we are on the road to 10,000 subscribers. I'm trying to hit that by the end of the year, so please consider subscribing. But with all that said being out the way, hope you all enjoyed. My name's Cree, and we'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.